Hi Aries, this is Power and Light Tarot, bringing you your love reading for the month of November 2018. And um, thanks for coming to my channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Please check your moon and your rising for further information um, on your situation. If you're not sure of that information, you can go over to cafeastrology.com and put some info in um, and get your natal chart right there. Um, your moon and your rising has a lot of weight, uh, you know, in your situation, um, in your personality, in who you are, right? So, um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I am sending thank yous out to everybody who has subscribed thus far. I really appreciate it, and I am reading the comments as well. And, um, I'm going to be going into the extended over on Vimeo. Um, and in the extended, we're going to be talking about the potential for the relationship, um, what they are hiding, and their hopes and fears, and their true intentions, okay? So, let's get started here, Aries. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Wands. So, if somebody's trying to make a decision here, we have some more decision cards over here. Somebody is, or another card here, but somebody's trying to choose uh, a partner, a path, they're trying to make a decision here um, about how to move forward, okay, with the Two of Wands. So, um, let's go ahead and take a few Oracle cards here. Um, and these are the Romance Angels, of course. And what does Aries need to know about love? What does Aries need to know about their partner in love in November? Children, your love life is being affected by children. Uh, maybe you have kids with this person. Let's pull another um, card. What does Aries need to know about their partner in love in the month of November 2018? And let your friends help you. Okay. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so, you know, maybe you're feeling isolated and you need friends to help you. Okay, so... Let's get one more card, and we're going to get it here from the Goddess Guidance cards. What does Aries need to know about love in November 2018? What does Aries need to know? We have inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So this is Athena. She's here with her owl because, you know, owls are all about uh, mysticism and they are majestic and, you know, they can represent um, intuition, right, and uh, the world of spirituality. So trust your intuition, Aries, and let's get on with your reading here. So um, the overall, the other person's energy, rather, um, is the current energy we have the world card. Their past energy is the five of cups. Uh, they were pretty sad, right? And um, how they feel about you is the page of swords. The situation in the matter uh, is the ace of cups. The past energy, or the obstacle rather, the obstacle here between you and your uh, person here is the lover's card. Your energy right now is the two of swords. Um, trying to make a decision in some way. And the Four of Cups is showing up in your past energy. How you feel about them is the Eight of Wands. Okay. So, now, their energy right now, Aries, is the World card. It's showing up with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, it looks to me here that... Um, you know, they could be completing a cycle, they could be going through some changes, they could be traveling. Um, we do have, you know, the sky and the uh, the ocean here is showing up right here with the Five of Swords, right? But I feel like they are uh, completing a cycle, they are beginning a new cycle. Um, and this is their energy, and they could be doing that because maybe they feel defeated. They could be starting a new chapter here with the world card, um, you know, and um, they could feel feel defeated here with the Five of Swords, okay? Um, they could be kind of bullish themselves um, when the Five of Swords shows up. 
Um, but they could be feeling just like they're in conflict, right? And they um, want to go to a new cycle with the world card. And the conflict could be uh, regarding money in some way when the Ten of Pentacles shows up, okay? This can be about, they could be conflicted or they could feel um, defeated, okay? Um, they could feel this way. This is their energy right now. Um, they could feel like they want to defeat somebody else. It's, it's possible they want to bully somebody. They want to bully you, maybe. But I feel like they uh, their energy right now is that they are feeling defeated, um, and it has to do with, you know, a family. It has to do with money. It has to do with some abundance. It could have to do with inheritance here, real estate. Um, but the Ten of Pentacles is all about abundance, and it's usually abundance with family and money, okay? So I feel like they are feeling uh, totally defeated here in a situation and um, they are, you know, wanting to start a new chapter in their life. So their past energy, they had the Five of Cups here, um, you know, they were really sad in the past. They could have felt some regret. Um, doesn't always have to be regret, but seriously sadness here, okay? Um, and in the past, you know, they feel like they had to defend themselves. And they could have felt like maybe the fighting, you know, they had to put an end to the fighting in the past, right? And um, they were really sad over it as well, okay? Here they are defending themselves. They are standing up for themselves. They are standing their ground. Um, they probably feel like they had to fight here in the situation. Or maybe they had to compete for your love. It could be. Um, you know, because we have the cups over here, which is about love and, you know... Um, feelings, right, sentiments, but, uh, you know, in the past, they definitely feel like they had to fight for themselves, they had to defend themselves, they had to stand up for themselves, and I believe, um, you know, because of some fighting or competition. Now, how they're feeling about you, Aries, we have the Page of Swords, you know, I feel like they are just kind of on guard about you, um, they can also feel like you're defensive, all right? Um, and that your style of communication may be a little, like, on guardish, um, But I feel like, you know, they feel like you're holding on to something or you're holding back, okay, um, with the Four of Pentacles here. They could think you're holding on to money because, you know, in some way money could be an issue here because the Ten of Pentacles is here um, in their current energy. But, you know... They could feel also that you put them in the reverse. The Queen of Wands is showing up in the reverse here. Um, it could be you, you know. Um, the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like they feel... Um, you know, they feel that... Uh, they feel that maybe you have lost your power in some way. Okay, or you're lacking passion or courage in some way, and that maybe you are holding on to something, because this is how they feel about you. So this can get this kind of gets kind of tricky about how they feel about you, um, and vice versa. But um, because they can kind of inter, they can kind of you know inter like intertwine a bit. But here, you know, they feel like you are defensive. They feel like you've lost your power in some way. They could also feel like you are pushy and aggressive and you're stubborn. They could feel like that because with the Queen of Wands in the reverse next to the Four of Pentacles, that could very much be the case, okay? But again, they could feel like you lost your power, you lost your passion um, because over here, um, yeah. Over here, they are sad, so they could feel that, you know, you lost your passion in some way and that you are being totally uh, defensive and stubborn in some way, trying to hold on to something or hold back, all right? So the next position we have here, Aries, we have the Ace of Cups. So this is the situation right now. Um, there is an opportunity uh, for a new beginning there is an opportunity for love. I feel like, you know, when the Ace of Cups shows up, there could be an opportunity to start over, right? Excuse me. It's showing up here with the Strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo Aries. Um, 
and it's with the moon cards here. So I feel like the situation is that, you know, there could be a situation for a new beginning here um, in love. All right. There could be an opportunity to start over. Um, somebody is being strong. All right. Somebody could need to be, but this is the situation. Somebody's using courage here. Um, I don't think it's this Queen of Wands in the reverse over here, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, somebody is having courage here, um, but there are secrets here, right, within the situation. There's anxiety, too. There could be anxiety. There could be just the unknown, right? When the moon shows up, it's the unknown, okay? It's also anxiety or confusion and or. It doesn't have to be all of the above, but, you know, with the moon, there could be, you know... There could be an opportunity here, you know, between you guys, but uh, there are secrets, possibly, um, or there's just too much of the unknown. There could be courage between you guys, too, to have a new beginning. Somebody could have courage here and faith and strength here to have a new beginning, right, within the situation. Um... But they could be experiencing anxiety in a way, right? Or just confusion. And they're trying to be strong here to, you know, maybe there is a new opportunity on the table be between you guys currently. So let's go on here. The lovers is here in the obstacle, okay? So you could be dealing with a Gemini, all right? Um, and we have the Justice card showing up. You could also be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be Aries, of course, right? Um, but when the Major Arcana shows up, it's always nice to, you know, kind of know who is ruling who here um, in terms of the cards. But, you know, um, the obstacle here is that I feel like there's a choice to be made here, but somebody's having a really hard time making the choice um, because they're stuck up in their head. They think they can't. They think they can't get a grip, okay? They think they can't deal. They think they can't get a handle on the matter because they have this blindfold on, um, and, you know, they even have uh, some ties around them, around their waist and their shoulders. So they can't move physically, and they can't see anything, so they probably can't make any decisions here, but they're be definitely, you know, stuck up in their head, um, and they feel trapped, but they, they, can, they can get out of this. The Eight of Swords, they can, you know, release themselves from this. Um, now, with this being the obstacle, so I feel like somebody, the obstacle here is that somebody's really stuck because maybe there needs to be justice in a situation, okay? Um, yeah, and also somebody could just, like I mentioned, somebody could be having a really hard time making a choice with the Lover's Card. Because maybe there needs to be justice in a situation. Or they're having a hard time because maybe they feel that, you know, things are not fair. Or that, you know, this justice or this balance has something to do um, with them making a decision. Or with them coming, releasing something, coming out of this Eight of Swords energy, okay? They could be, also the obstacle is that, you know, somebody, one of you guys could just be stuck, you know, in this energy of just being mentally trapped, right? Not knowing how, what to do. There's all these swords, all these, like, issues, kind of, or these worries and doubts, or whatever these swords may represent between you guys, you know. And that is because the relationship requires justice or fairness, Okay, some, there's some, you know, justice is definitely having, uh, is relevant to them, you or them, making a decision, okay, being the obstacle, um, releasing something, and it's either regarding a choice or the relationship itself, okay? All right, so the next position we have, Aries, we have the Two of Swords. Now... Um, you know, we have the Two of Wands come up in the reverse. I mean, not in the reverse, at the bottom of the deck, rather. So, you know, definitely somebody's trying to choose something here. Um, somebody's stuck, right? We just, uh, we just had the Eight of Swords and the Obstacle as part of the Obstacle. But 
this is your energy right now, Aries. You are either at a stalemate, you can't make up your mind about something, or you can't see your way out of something, or you're ready to fight, too. You could be ready to fight um, because you're kind of stuck and frustrated and uh, defensive, but you could be blocking somebody, too. You could be blocking something out when the Two of Swords shows up. And we have the Three of Pentacles with it and the Ten of Wands. Um, you know, this can go uh, a few different ways with these three cards here. But, um, you know, your energy is that you're definitely stuck about something. And it, have to, it, c it can have to do with trying to work on something that you really feel is a burden. Okay? This could also be, um, you know, you could be trying to decide about a third party it's possible and it's just a burden okay or you're really conflicted maybe about a third party because it's become a burden but this can also be you know your energy right now is that you're stuck you can't make a decision all right um maybe on how to collaborate on something you know maybe work on this okay because the it's burdening with the ten of wands all right so your past energy, Aries, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about rejection, disappointment, maybe maybe possibly not even wanting to look at an offer because you're just kind of, you know, uh, just full of maybe past disappointment, right? Um, the Four of Cups does have to do with your foundation. Um, fours are about foundations, home, family, relationship, you know, love, things like that. Um, so your your past energy, uh, you you're feeling seriously disappointed about. Could be about an offer. Could be about the situation, the relationship in general. You don't really in the past. You didn't want to take the cup. Okay, possibly you don't even want to look at it here. Um, and I feel like it has to do with somebody from your past or kids. Now there could be kids involved here because you know with the oracle card, children you know came up in your oracle in your you know your your messages here. Now, um, the Six of Cups can talk about children. Um, you could be dealing with somebody, you know, in the past, you could have been maybe disappointed. There could be a situation with uh, yours or their kids uh, that is affecting your relationship here. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles is showing up in the reverse. Something didn't work out. Um, and it either has to do with your past um, or kids but you know the ace of pentacles it could have to do with money it doesn't have to but you know it could have to do with money there could have been some money lost here possibly because um, of somebody from the past or because of I don't know maybe somebody uh, you know there's money to be paid for children here or something like that maybe child support um, but you know your past energy you're definitely disappointed or you're rejecting something and it has to do with the past or children um, and just something that that just you know in your mind did not work out with this ace of pentacles here um, you know there could have been a delay as well the ace of pentacles sometimes shows up in the reverse because there's a delay um, for you know an abundant new start or for a new opportunity uh, for you know prosperity um, or just to make things work too because or stability right the ace the pentacles are about stability um, you know in the past you could have felt like there was no stability regarding either a family relationship somebody from the past or a situation re re revol involving kids okay you could have felt like maybe you lost money or something didn't work, or there was a lack of stability, because clearly you didn't want it, okay? So um, now we have um, the next position we have here, um, Aries, we have how you feel about them, um, and how you are feeling about them is the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. So I feel like you feel um, that um, you're feeling that possibly that um, maybe they're bringing you some news, right? Fast news coming in from them. You could be feeling that uh, there could be a lot of movement, 
There could be a lot of passion with them. You know, when the Eight of Wands shows up, yes, it is news. Yes, it is, um, you know, opportunities. Yes, it is changes, okay, developments. But this can be growth. Um, you know, there's these wands all have sprouts on them. Um, and it's here with the Knight of Cups, too, and the Hierophant. So you could be dealing with a... Um, you know, with a, a Taurus, possibly, and, um, you know, with the Hierophant showing up. But I feel like you feel like they are commitment material. Um, you know, there's somebody you, you could commit to. Um, I feel like you have faith also about them in love, okay? Um, you could also be feeling like they're going to come forward and offer you a cup with the Knight of Cups. And that it's going to come in fast, this communication or this offer. Okay, Aries, I'm going to be going in, into the extended on um, how they are feeling about you. I'm not how they are feeling. I beg, I beg your pardon. What they are hiding, um, the potential in the relationship, their hopes and fears, and their true intentions in the extended Please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciating it, and I hope to see you over there with, um, you know, with some more insight into this situation.